The countdown is on to the Texas takeoff. Billionaire Jeff Bezos set to blast off into space in his own rocket. Bezos and his three person crew set to go up in T minus 14 hours. Yeah, and there's one crew member who has been waiting a little bit longer than everyone else for this opportunity. We're talking about 82 year old trail blazing pilot Wally Funk. She is pictured here in the red shirt with the rest of the crew. She was denied the job of astronaut in the 60s because of her gender, but that's all about to change. For more on for more on her journey, let's go now to Xavier Walton. He's live in the West Texas town of Van Horn, where excitement is building for tomorrow morning's launch. Xavier? Len Reka, you know what? It really is. And for Wally Funk, I guess you could say better late than never. Her story truly is remarkable. And the one you're about to see right now, 60 years in the making. I've waited a long time, but I've dreamt a long time yeah. to get to go up. To fully understand what this moment means to Wally Funk, All right, left off with the clock we have to go back six decades when she was on the brink of becoming the first female American astronaut. The only thing a woman needs to compete in a man's world is ability. Wally Funk from Grapevine, Texas, is one of the most decorated pilots in American history. She earned her pilot's license by the time she was 17. Clap your hands, wiggle your wings. But before her aviation career really took off, Wally was a member of the Mercury 13, a group of women selected to train and become astronauts. The year, 1962. These are the astronauts. American astronauts, all men at the time, had to pass grueling physical and mental exams. Wally exceeded. She was clearly more than qualified to be an astronaut, but she wasn't allowed to simply because she was a woman. Here's Wally a few years ago reacting to what happened decades ago. We can do just as good a job as the guys, and this was keeping us out of a program. Fast forward to 2021. And now you're being described as the oldest person to go into space, which I think is very cool. But I feel like I'm 24. <laughs> After decades of dreaming, Wally's wish is coming true. When I'm up in space and able to do somersaults and tumble and do anything that I've wanted to do, I just, I just want to get up there and see the Earth. At 82 years old, Wally, Wally will become the oldest person to go up into space, righting a wrong, not a moment too soon. Reporting live in Van Horn, Xavier Walton, we'll send it back to you. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you, Xavier, out there in Van Horn tonight. And hey, this just in, Blue Origin tweeting this picture of the four-member crew. They look ready. Remember, the flight takes off at 8 a.m. tomorrow, and you can watch it live on CBS this morning. Gail King is anchoring live from Van Horn, and KHOU's live coverage starts at 6 a.m. on H-Town Rush. Everything you need to know about this trip right now on KHOU.com. Very exciting.